Hello everybody, this week we're talking all about rocks, and in particular, the rock cycle. Now we all know that there are cycles all around the world, and the most common one is the hydrocycle or the water cycle, where water is evaporated into the sky, it condenses, become clouds, and then turns into water and falls as rain. But this week we're talking all about the cycle of rocks. As you can see behind me, we have a huge mountain range. We are in South Georgia. Now, South Georgia was created when the Scotia Plate crashed into the South American and the Antarctic Plate and dragged this island all the way east, and we're standing on that island right now. Now, the rocks that you can see all around me are on a journey, but it's not a short journey. It's a very, very long journey lasting hundreds of millions of years. Now, the rocks behind me on the mountainside were created during a volcanic eruption. These volcanic rocks dried forming igneous rocks. Now, as you can see, they're very hard and they're very dark, but the water on the waterfall behind me is eroding them, chipping away little bits of those rocks and dragging them in rivers all the way down to the ocean. Now, when they arrive at the ocean, they're very heavy. They're heavier than water. They fall to the bottom of the seabed, and this is called deposition. When they land at the bottom of the sea, they gather in layers upon layers upon layers over millions of years. This is called sedimentation. With the weight of the ocean on top of all of these grains of rock and sand, it's very, very heavy. And this is called compaction, where it squashes everything together, causing something called sedimentary rock. Once the sedimentation and compaction process is complete, some of the newly formed sandstone starts to be compacted by the weight of the ocean on top and also heated by the magma below. This is when the metamorphosis begins and metamorphic rock is created. Now then, two things happen. Either they sink into the mantle and become magma or lava, or two plates collide and they drag them up, causing fold mountains. Now, when they arrive at the mantle, they change again. There is a metamorphosis. They change from sedimentary rock into magma or molten rock, and they stay inside the mantle for millions and millions of years. Later on, a volcano is ready to erupt, and in the magma chamber, that magma sits and waits. When the volcano erupts, lava is thrown out into the atmosphere, dries, causing igneous rock. And these are the mountains that you can see behind me. Now, as you can see, each and every rock is on a journey, a very, very long journey. And this journey can take hundreds of millions of years, changing from igneous into sedimentary and then into metamorphic rock, and eventually taking a full cycle all the way around. Now this week, we want you to imagine that a rock that you found can come to life. You're going to change it into a comic, you're going to make it come alive through anthropomorphosis, and you are going to make it become a human being and take a journey in a comic strip. It's going to be wonderful, and you're going to use it to teach younger children all about this amazing cycle.